Hi, this is Frankie, and I have in my hand today one of, if not the finest banjo that I've ever uh, owned, had the pleasure of owning. It's a 1927 PB4 Style 4 conversion with, uh, of course, a five string neck on it. Uh, the pot is all original, uh, including the no hole tone ring. Of course, the head and the bridge have been replaced. Um, but it's got the Flying Eagle inlay, as you can see. I uh, purchased this from a music store that was going out of business and was trying to unload some of their inventory, so I bought it to sell. Um, I'm planning on making a little money on it, and once you hear the sound, I think uh, you'll be willing to, uh, to part with it. It really is one of the finest banjos I've had in my hand. Um, the 1927 arch top no-hole tone ring is really a special tone ring. Uh, my dad has a, a 1935 uh, TB3 conversion, and this this one is uh, actually sounds better than that. It's the only banjo I've had in my hands that sounds better. Um, in addition to that, with the I have a Bart Veerman archtop woody bridge on this one, and uh, it really makes this banjo sound like an, uh, a flathead. Uh, the criticism of an archtop banjo is when you start to get down on this registry, it loses something. Not with this one. really got it down the neck. Uh, so I'm going to play a little something here. Uh, Ralph Stanley played a style 4, so I'm going to play, although he played a, a walnut style 4, a later style 4, this is an all mahogany. Here we go. <laughs> Big sound, big sound. Um, arch tops are also known for uh, being good for chromatic style. there, but uh, you always do when you're playing chromatic. If you're a Scruggs picker, it's good for that too. Let me try that again. If you're a Reno picker like myself, uh, it's also good for uh, Reno style music. Let's see here. What was I going to play of Don's? Um, oh, geez. I, I can't think of anything to play right now. Uh, uh, some, some of this. Uh, the sound. Um, let me try some Dear Old Dixie. sounds like it's excellent no buzzes uh, the neck fits the rim pretty well uh, almost no fret wear on this either so it's a honey and it's ready for the stage uh, so thank you for listening